preparation for a christian life section three by soren kierkegaard eighteen thirteen to eighteen fifty five published in eighteen fifty this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain for more information or to volunteer please visit librivox org come hither unto me all ye that labor and are heavy laden and i will give you rest come hither for he supposes that they that labor and are heavy laden feel their burden and their labor and that they stand there now perplexed and sighing one casting about with his eyes to discover whether there is help in sight anywhere another with his eyes fixed on the ground because he can see no consolation and a third with his eyes staring heavenward as though help was bound to come from heaven but all seeking therefore he saith come hither but he invites not him who has ceased to seek and to sorrow come hither for he who invites knows that it is a mark of true suffering if one walks alone and broods in silent disconsolateness without courage to confide in any one and with even less confidence to dare to hope for help alas not only he whom we read about was possessed of a dumb devil no suffering which does not first of all render the sufferer dumb is of much significance no more than the love which does not render one silent for those sufferers who run on about their afflictions neither labor nor are heavy laden behold therefore the inviter will not wait till they that labor and are heavy laden come to him but calls them lovingly for all his willingness to help might perhaps be of no avail if he did not say these words and thereby take the first step for in the call of these words come hither unto me he comes himself to them ah human compassion sometimes perhaps it is indeed praiseworthy self-restraint sometimes perhaps even true compassion which may cause you to refrain from questioning him whom you suppose to be brooding over a hidden affliction but also how often indeed is this compassion but worldly wisdom which does not care to know too much ah human compassion how often was it not pure curiosity and not compassion which prompted you to venture into the secret of one afflicted and how burdensome it was almost like a punishment of your curiosity when he accepted your invitation and came to you but he who saith these redeeming words come hither he is not deceiving himself in saying these words nor will he deceive you when you come to him in order to find rest by throwing your burden on him he follows the promptings of his heart in saying these words and his heart follows his words if you then follow these words they will follow you back again to his heart this follows as a matter of course ah will you not follow the invitation come hither for he supposes that they that labor and are heavy laden are so worn out and overtaxed and so near swooning that they have forgotten as though in a stupor that there is such a thing as consolation alas or he knows for sure that there is no consolation and no help unless it is sought from him and therefore must he call out to them come hither come hither for is it not so that every society has some symbol or token which is worn by those who belong to it when a young girl is adorned in a certain manner one knows that she is going to the dance come hither all ye that labor and are heavy laden come hither you need not carry an external and visible badge come but with your head anointed and your face washed if only you labor in your heart and are heavy laden come hither ah do not stand still and consider nay consider consider that with every moment you stand still after having heard the invitation you will hear the call more faintly 
and thus withdraw from it even though you are standing still come hither ah however weary and faint you be from work or from the long long and yet hitherto fruitless search for help and salvation and even though you may feel as if you could not take one more step and not wait one more moment without dropping to the ground ah but this one step and here is rest come hither but if alas there be one who is so wretched that he cannot come ah a sigh is sufficient your mere sign for him is also to come hither end of preparation for a christian life three by soren kierkegaard published in eighteen fifty